Hi, so we're in this video is we're going to look at non bare classing tools. So we have a rational function which is of the form f of x equals m of x over n of x. We must consider how the function behaves as x tends towards positive and negative infinity if we're going to effectively sketch it or understand it. If we're able to express f of x in the form of a function plus the quotient function, so p of x plus q of x over r of x for example, which we can express it that way via algebraic long division, and that allows us to see that as x tends towards positive or negative infinity, f of x must tend towards that function p of x. Notable thing to point out is that unlike vertical asymptotes, the function f of x may cross its own asymptote, its own non-vertical asymptote. Okay. So, Another thing to point out is that you can have horizontal or you can have oblique. Oblique being just a slanted line. So we'll go through a couple of these because we also need to consider how the graph is approaching the asymptote, not, not whether it's approaching it from below or above. However, example one is really straightforward. If you look at the order or power of the numerator, it is lower than the highest power of the denominator. That is a special case, and that means that it is going to tend towards the line y equals zero. So that always will happen. I can read off that straight away. Now, of course, you'd have every other bit of information together as well, like the vertical asymptotes and the stationary points, but we're just focusing on the non-vertical asymptotes in this video. I need to, like I said, I need to consider how it approaches the asymptote. So I'm going to take a large value of x in the positive direction and a large value of x in the negative direction and see what happens in the function. As I got f of 100 to be very slightly positive, that means it must be approaching the asymptote from above. And as if f of negative 100 turned out to be ne very slightly negative, that means it must be approaching from below. So that's, that happens. It's a really straightforward example. However, for the rest of them, it's going to get slightly more complicated because you can see in example 2, the power of the numerator is not lower than the power of the denominator. So we're going to have to algebraically long divide it. So, algebraic long divided is giving me the solution to be x minus 1 and then the remainder to be 2. So that means in terms of our general form of p of x plus q of x over r of x, the p of x is the x minus 1, the q of x is the 2, and the r of x is the x plus 1. So, as p of x 
sorry, as f of x tends, or sorry, as x tends to positive or negative infinity, it's going to tend towards the line x minus 1, which is a straight line. So we've got slightly more complicated here. I need to see whether or not it approaches that graph, that function, that asymptote makes all words, from above or below. So again, we need to consider what f of 100, well, we can just, as long as it's a large number, we can consider what f of 100 and f of negative 100 is, and then also consider what y equals at those values, okay? So I've substituted 100 into both the original equation and also the asymptote to see how it acts as there because it's a bit more difficult to see it when it's a slanted asymptote and a visualize it. So at f of 100, it is 99.01, whereas at 100 on the asymptote, it's 99. So the function is ever so slightly above the asymptote. So we've got an f of negative 100 equals to negative 101.02 and y of negative 100 equals to negative 101. So the function is ever so slightly below the asymptote. Okay, so I'm going to clean the board and then do the next one. So we've got a situation here where the denominator power and the numerator power are equal, which means I'm going to have a horizontal asymptote, but I don't know where it's going to be. It's not necessarily going to be on the x-axis, so we'll still need to algebraically long divide. So after algebraically, algebraically dividing that, I've got my solution to be 1 and my remainder to be negative 2. So I can read off that p of x is the line y equals 1, so it is a horizontal line going through 1.
So depending on what the numbers work out to be, it can actually be straightforward. As I substituted in and I recognised that much I don't need to work it out fully, it's going to end up with 99 divided by 101, which is going to be less than 1. So it means that it's going to be... Below the asymptote, whereas in the negative direction, I made a mistake there, but I caught before I uploaded this video, at negative infinity, it's going to be above 1. And then again, with every other part of information of the graph, we can sketch it fully. Okay. So last one. We can see algebraically long divided, and they have substituted in values for the function and also the asymptote. So we get f of 100 being slightly above 198, but it, y, the asymptote being 198, so it's approaching from above. And then f of negative 100 being slightly below 202, but the asymptote being 202, so it's below. So again, like I said, with every other example, once you've got all the other bits of information, vertical asymptotes, stationary points, everything, you'll be able to sketch these fully. So that is a very long video, I'm guessing, of non-vertical asymptotes.